Alright you guys, so today's video is a little different. Today I'm actually going to be sharing with you eight income streams that I generated in 2019. I'm super excited to do this video. Uh, it, like I said, it's different from all the other ones. So stay tuned. I'm about to share eight income streams. And this is supposed to inspire you, encourage you to pursue your own income streams because it's possible. I'm telling you, it's possible to do this no matter how busy you are, no matter what's going on in your life, to generate income online. And I'm going to show you some of the ways that I did it. Hey there bosses, you're welcome to my channel once again. If this is your first time on this channel, on this channel, I talk about all things freelance writing, content creation, and building a lifestyle business. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then make sure to smash that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to join our community. Now in this video, I'll be sharing percentages of my total income. I won't be sharing absolute numbers just for personal reasons. But I think overall, everything I'm going to share is going to be super useful. And if you watch until the end, I'll be sharing with you which income streams out of this eight I will be focusing on in 2020. Because even though I made income from all these eight streams, they're not necessarily what I'll be focusing on next year and the years to come. So stay around for that. So the first income stream was freelance writing. And of course, I have a channel about freelance writing, so I had to practice what I preached. So 82% of my income came from freelance writing, and I was really, really grateful for that. Most of my clients are in the healthcare space. I've also been privileged to have clients in personal finance and e-commerce, but most of them have been in health, and it's been very helpful for me because I've been able to pull on my background in nursing and also in the biomedical sciences to really help those clients. So to see that much of my income come from freelance writing was really amazing. The second income stream was coaching and I was really excited about that income stream coaching came in at around five percent of my total income and I was really excited about that because I launched my coaching business this year as a matter of fact I launched my coaching business I think during the third towards the end of the third quarter so let's say September um, and so far I've had people come into the coaching program uh, my one-on-one -on -one coaching program and it has been fantastic and I've been able to coach some people that sign up with me I, I'm really really proud of that I'm really really excited about that and for it to just be something I launched this year and it to be in the number two spot also says to me that I'm on the right track and that if I focus and I focus my marketing on that, that could be a really, really good source of income in the years to come. So that's definitely one of the things I'm going to be focusing on. Um, but yeah, I just want to say to those of you who have come and to my coaching program, thank you so much for entrusting your business with me. It's exciting to see what you guys are doing and I look forward to your businesses growing exponentially and if you are interested in learning more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching program you can go to genontra.com slash coaching um, and read everything about the program third income stream was affiliate so affiliate marketing and that came in at about 3.5 percent and to be honest this year i did not really promote my affiliate products a whole lot like most of it came through my blog and i've had that blog for now that we're entering 2020 it's going to be uh six years that i've had the blog um and it just shows that if you set up your blog properly if you set it up well for SEO and even for Pinterest because I get a lot of my traffic from Pinterest and also from search engines that you can have people coming to your blog years after you have written certain blog posts and those can yield you income again and again and this was a testament to that, that I didn't really focus on my blog a whole lot in 2019 I was focused really on building my YouTube channel and also starting a podcast because that's the direction I want to move in and so to see that my blog was still bringing in this this affiliate income was really such a blessing number four was sponsored content and this is content that I did for brands so brands got in touch with me and they wanted to leverage my personal brand or my own platform to basically create content that they would pay me for and I did that I got paid that came in around three percent of my total income 
So sponsored content can really be an exciting type of content. And if you're thinking about doing sponsored content, it's important to realize that your audience doesn't need to be huge. What these companies are looking for are results, are awareness. Um, and even if at least one person moves over from your brand to theirs and purchases something, you can consider that campaign or that piece of sponsored content a success. So don't think that you need to have 10,000 followers. I only have about a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. And at the time when um, some brands got in touch with me, I didn't even have a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Um, I only have about 900 followers on Instagram. And you know, it's not about the numbers. It's about how engaged your audience is. So that's something to remember for sponsored content. At the number five spot coming in at around 3% was ebook sales and so i sold ebooks through my website and to my email list via gumroad and this is also a really amazing source of income because basically it was passive people found the book on my website people found the book through my email list I had set up an autoresponder in my email list and so it was selling that automatically and that was really a blessing so this was another testament to the fact that when you have the right systems in place you really can make passive income once you do the work up front. Number six, where the courses I sold through Skillshare and Udemy. So Skillshare and Udemy are both online marketplaces where you can upload courses and sell those courses. And back in 2014, 2015, when I started online, this was a really good place for me to upload courses and make money passively. Because the beautiful thing about Skillshare or Udemy is that you do not need to promote your own courses. You can promote your own courses it will definitely make you more money but Skillshare and Udemy have their own inbuilt marketing system and so they get students for you and so if you really do a good job with creating quality courses and also doing well with, with your end of the marketing um, equation you can really make some money on this so I made passive income from those sources as well to be honest with you I did not focus on that income stream because that's something I'm really phasing out but because I still had courses on there they still brought in a trick of income and I made around 2% of my income from Skillshare and Udemy so it really was a, a, a nice income stream to have it's not something I'm focusing on going forward just because with Skillshare and Udemy um, you do get very little compared to how much you could sell it if you sold it on your own but the advantage is that because they have the audience they bring the audience too so it's like a catch-22 situation um, you know if you don't have any audience I think it's great but then you make less money as compared to if you had your own course on a platform like Teachable or Kajabi and then sold it yourself. But it was still nice to get money from those streams and I highly recommend it if you want to just kind of test your course creation process and see if people enjoy it. I do recommend it but for me it's not something I'm going to pursue moving forward. Number seven was Google AdSense and on this platform on YouTube, I'm not monetized. I have about, I have a thousand subscribers, but I don't have 4,000 watch hours yet. And so my Google AdSense really did come from my blog. Again, I had the, the ads on the blog. People found my blog. People clicked on ads. I made money that way. That came in at about 0.04% of my total income streams. Um, and you know, once again, it wasn't something, blogging wasn't something I focused on a lot in 2019, just because I was moving towards creating more for YouTube and then creating from a podcast, right? So it wasn't something I focused on. And this shows you that if you have a blog and you set it up correctly so that you can get traffic, you know, from the right sources that you can, in fact, you know, make money from it. So Google AdSense was another income stream that came from my blog. And then number eight was Amazon book royalties. And even though Amazon ended up being that really, really small income stream, the last income stream, I was really excited about that income stream just because Amazon publishing and self-publishing in general is something that I've been considering getting into for a really long time. I haven't done it, right? I focused really heavily on freelance writing and coaching, as you saw, but 
self-publishing is something I really want to focus on and to see that almost every month I was looking at this a few days ago almost every month this year I had a few sales through the Amazon platform and it was amazing to me because this wasn't stuff I was really promoting. I had a fiction book on there. I have uh, some planners. I have a, uh, a few journals on there. And I was getting trickles of sales each month. And so I was like, wow, without me even doing anything, like Amazon is doing its thing and I'm making money, what would happen if I actually stepped into it? You know, and with Amazon, you're accessing like a huge database of, of customers. And, and so I think it's a really good place to be. Which brings me to what I had mentioned earlier about the income streams I really want to focus on moving forward. So definitely I'm going to be focusing on freelance writing. I'm changing my strategy a little bit to concentrate on clients that can pay me more. And you should do the same as you go in your business, aim to have clients that pay you more, right? It's not because, because your work is valuable. Your work really is valuable. And you have to tell yourself that it took me a while to tell myself that my work is valuable and my work gets people results. And so I need to charge what I'm worth. It's really, really important for that to sink into your mind or else you're always going to undercharge yourself, which I've made the mistake of doing. And then coaching is definitely going to be another income stream I'm going to be focusing on in 2020 and beyond. I also, I mentioned about Amazon self-publishing and self-publishing in general, another area I'm going to be focusing on. And one area that I didn't even talk about at all in this video that I really want to grow in 2020 and beyond is courses, online courses. So I sold some online courses through Udemy and Skillshare. Now I'm hosting my courses through Teachable and promoting them that way. So if you follow me on here you will see me talk a lot more about my course i do have a freelance writing course coming up so watch out for that but you will hear me talk a lot about the courses i'll be offering through teachable um to you all to help you get where you need to get what are some of the lessons i've learned throughout this experience the lessons i the biggest lesson i've learned is that you can do this right a few years ago i was watching other people i was listening to other people's podcasts i was reading other people's blogs who were making money online and i wondered if i could do the same and i just started practicing everything i was hearing i bought courses i invested in coaching and here we are you know so i believe that if you're willing to do the work if you're willing to invest in yourself you will see the results. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and let me know which income stream sounded most intriguing to you or which one did you enjoy? Which one are you exploring?